Welcome to the second round of the National Invitational Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. This should be an entertaining game between the Syracuse Orange and the Old Miss Rebels. Number 44 is the star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. This kid is great on the defensive end of the floor, Brad, but on the offensive end, he's virtually unstoppable. The Rebels will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. Play ball, baby. Play ball. The zebra tosses it up. And we're underway. The Rebels looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. And lastly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead the wins, baby. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. They're not giving him a chance to get it to transition. Great command of the floor. Leaning in. Count the hoop. That's goaltending. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Ouch. Screener took the worst of that one. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Doesn't go. Number 30 is called for the foul. First team foul. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The shooting guard gets the pass. He nails the shot. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Number 44 is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. It's good. Gave it up. Or two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He looks at the hoop. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Now the turnaround jumper. In and out. Number 12 gets the ball. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Turns it over. Number 23 takes the pass. Trying to feed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he stays in control until they regroup the offense he comes away with it patience with the ball as the offense regroups on the dribble gives it up goes up for two they still don't score and the ball goes out of bounds Kick it back outside. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. 
He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. There goes a twine. Gave it up. Number 44 takes the feed. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Ole Miss are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Perfectly executed. Now trying to feed the low block. Number 44, pump fakes. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. With a bucket, he gets the shot to fall. They go into the low block, work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Down inside, goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries for two, and off the mark. This defender is resilient. With the block. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Number 44 with the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Anticipation defensively. Looking for a good shot. And he'll kick it back outside. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. For the bucket. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> For two, and in and out. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. On the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact.
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. The Orange are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Concentration. Got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Gets the second shot. Stop and pop. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. The frustration right there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well perfectly executed in the paint there's the trap the ball goes out of play oh that's going to be a costly turnover I'll tell you turnovers can absolutely destroy a team He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Shoots. Syracuse are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. They move it into the front court. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the mark. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. The fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. From the top of the key. Oh, yes. For two, and off the mark. Number double zero draws the personal. He 
He steps up to the line. Makes the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks out there. Yeah, that helps. Let me hear you say replay, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. Sucker out of the game, man. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Doesn't go. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. And the slam. Here's the three ball. Goes. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Number 50 makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He got it. Got them both. A high screen. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Leans in. Contact causes the shot to come off. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. He tries the three. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. 
Nope. He made the duck rush an opportunity for one. There's nothing like throwing down a dunk and getting the foul. Speaking from experience there, Dick? Of course. Number five goes to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. Double team now, bad angle. He's got some room. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys that react. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. In and out. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tears it away. Once you get that board, you got to be looking up court. Two. And he missed. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. Looking for contact. Number 14 with a finger roll. Tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Steel go up the other way. Get a layup. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They work it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen. The Rebels have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Goes up for two. And in and out. For the bucket. They still don't score. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. On the outside. Here's a double team. There he is. Puts the ball loose. Here they are on the break. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. And he scores it off the glass. The fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. Doesn't go. Up and inside. Makes the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no no. Side. For two. And he scores despite the hack. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. At the end of the first half, the Rebels are up by seven. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Ole Miss showed dominance on the boards, Dick, in the first half. Yeah, and therefore they control the game. Rebound and wins games, my friend. Dick, start of the second half. We take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He rejects it. Off the rim and no good. That spin move not successful, Dick. I'll tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Dick, I think there's a mid and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Jumps into the defense. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And in and out. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Number double zero goes to the charity strike for one. No good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Steals a pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it?
Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He intercepts it. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. He fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. They get out on the break. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Fakes it. For the bucket. Nice shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance to really win. Pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He goes to the line. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. You got to be able to execute there. Got it. He got the dunk and won. He saw nothing but win. And glory on that, baby. What a dunk, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. They're working around the perimeter. They're working around the arc. For two, they still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And he missed. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. On the outside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Ole Miss are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Jumped in front to take it away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Off the rim and no good. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Time to pick up the defense here now. Puts up the jumper. The missed shot. On the outside. He wants a three. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good look.
Attempts the three. Goes in. And let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. There's the trap. Stop and pop. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. For the bucket. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Look at that spacing. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The NIT is one of the greatest basketball tournaments of all time. Started back in 1938, and it's been a great tournament over the years. It has been, Brad. This tournament has given schools a great opportunity to play some pre- and postseason games. Quite significant in terms of team development. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And they come with a double team to stop it. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Dump it inside. Gave it up. Looking for the foul. Syracuse are doing a job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. They didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it through about a second earlier. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He fires it up. He gets the bucket. For two, and in and out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Working it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Rebels are up by 12. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. He strokes it. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Well, he's on fire. Dick, 
point. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and an inside presence will separate your team from others. Pull-up jumper from way out. Makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two, and he missed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offense. He got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, Brad. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Number three makes his debut into the game. I tell you, this kid comes in with fire, Brad. He really knows how to bring it. He hits it. Pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That's an 8-0 run. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Front work to me, that's all rebound it is. Get your body between the hoop and your man and block out. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. They still don't score. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Penn? Number double zero coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. And he'll kick it back outside. Puts it up. Way off target. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dribble gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open. What a facial on that one. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. He is going to the line. He can't buy one. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
on the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing game. Anticipating really well. On the outside. Got a wide open look. Tries for two. Scorches the net. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Goes up for two. In and out. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. He comes away with it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Nice fake. He makes the block. Number 23 grabs it. High post screen. So effective that screen. They've left him completely alone. He shoots from right of the circle. For two. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ten on the shot clock. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They're working around the perimeter. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Buried it. I have to see that one again. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Ole Miss wins this game in convincing fashion. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset.